Hi, students. We are practicing today with some additional vocabulary that can be helpful for us during this Corona pandemic.、Um, this is the second vocabulary video about the Corona virus. If you have not watched the first video, I would recommend finding that video on my channel to watch first,、um, or not. Either way. Just that there is a lot of good vocabulary also in that Corona vocabulary number one video. So, as we are talking about vocabulary for this COVID nineteen, trying to to help understand the news broadcasts, to help understand the journalism, the things that you are reading and、um, hearing on the news. Remember that this COVID nineteen. Comes from Corona Virus Disease 2019.、Um, remember that Corona Virus. There are hundreds of different types of Corona Virus.、Um, this is just one new type of Corona Virus using this COVID-19. In the first video, this is some of the vocabulary that we practiced. Um, the phrase COVID nineteen, quarantine, isolate, isolation, binge, these four beautiful idioms: a silver lining, to go stir crazy, cabin fever, to be cooped up, outbreak, epidemic, pandemic, to get laid off, a layoff, to file unemployment. To take something lightly, and state of emergency. So, if any of this vocabulary is not familiar to you, you should definitely go back to the Corona vocabulary video number one. The first piece I want to talk about is this word suspend, suspend, suspension. The noun suspension. So, suspend means to delay something, to hold something up. And suspension, the noun form.、Um, on the right side here, I just have an image from our local grocery store, Hornbacher's, and we see this word "suspend" in the first paragraph. It says, "For your well-being and our commitment to keeping our guests safe, we have suspended all self-service bakery items." So the area where they allow people to take for themselves is no longer open. They have suspended the service.、Um, a few other examples: the schools suspended classes because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. We are suspending in person classes and holding online classes. So you see, suspend in the past ed, continuous with ing. We are suspending. Please watch for an announcement. About the suspension of classes. Hear the noun form.、Um, some great vocabulary in the word critical, crit, crit, critical. Remember my American English pronunciation. That T becomes a D in my mouth, so I don't say critical, crit, critical. I say crid, critical, critical, critical. Urgent, critically, and urgently. Of course, critical and urgent. The adjectives meaning important, serious, vital. Critically and urgently. The adverb with the ly. It was a critical situation. Important, vital, serious. She needed critical care. Covid nineteen is an urgent problem facing many countries. She was critically injured in the car accident, seriously injured. One word that we are hearing a lot, almost every day, I am hearing this word: unprecedented. Un, unprecedented, unprecedented. Five pieces. Which is an adjective, 
But first, we need to talk about the noun form, which is precedent. 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 This is not pres. President. This is press. S. Precedent. A precedent is an earlier situation that is considered to be an example. A good precedent. A bad precedent. So when we are saying unprecedented, we are saying that this situation is completely new. It has never been known. It has never been seen. It is a completely new situation. An unprecedented situation. Um, for example, if I want to use this word precedent to mean an example. The judge decided to allow the penalty. This set a new precedent for future cases. A new example. The COVID-19 pandemic is being described as an unprecedented situation. A situation with no other examples in the past. We are all learning how to live during this unprecedented time. Three more important words to discuss when we are talking about COVID-19. This word airborne, the word droplet, droplets, and the word mist. So airborne means moving in the air, traveling by air. Droplet means tiny drops. We often see L-E-T added at the end of the word to mean small. Um, a baby pig is called a piglet. A tiny drop of something is a droplet. And then this word of mist, which is liquid in the air. Um, sometimes when it's raining, there's not actual air falling down. There's, there's not air. There's not rain falling down, but you walk outside and you feel wet on your skin. This is mist. Mist. Scientists are still debating if the coronavirus is airborne, if it can travel by air. COVID-19 does spread through droplets from your cough and sneeze. Tiny, tiny drops from your cough and your sneeze. Infection can spread through the mist when you sneeze or cough. The mist that is coming out. Okay, our last piece to talk about today are these two phrases of stay at home order or shelter in place order. Um, we are hearing different phrases across the United States. So your city might have a stay at home order and the next city might have a shelter in place order. And these are very similar, these two phrases. They are used as a legal order from the leader of a region. In a city, this is the mayor. In a state, this is the governor. In a country, this is the president. A legal order from the leader of a region telling the residents to stay in their homes or not leave their residence except for essential needs like food, work, and health care. All right, students, so these are the vocabulary words that we have practiced in this short lesson. The words suspend, suspension, critical, critically, urgent, urgently, the word precedent, not president, but precedent, and unprecedented, 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 airborne, droplets, mist, stay-at-home order, and shelter-in-place order. How was this vocabulary for you? I hope that you have learned something new. As always, leave me a comment under the video if there are new vocabulary words that you would like an explanation for. Make a sentence to practice these words. Um, put the sentence in the comments under this YouTube video. You can always send me the, the sentences through WhatsApp, through our student chat groups, um, if you are a student in my classroom. 
Until next time, students, take care. Bye.